the GHG figures are responsible for climate change. Represented by the Director General, National Council on Climate Change, Salisu Dahiru, the minister explained that the long-term low emission development strategy, lt leds is the beginning of a transformative journey towards a more sustainable and climate resilient future. This is he added that the document already deposited at the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, provides a roadmap for actions towards meeting Nigeria's commitment to the Paris Agreement and its pledge to achieve net zero emissions by 2060. It's financial, the second one is technological. So if Nigeria is able to receive adequate, adequate amount of these two kinds of support, it is willing to increase its target from just 20% to 47%. And that is the language of the NDC as it is at the moment. It is now time for public presentation of the policy document to high-level stakeholders, including ministers, National Assembly members, and representatives of key departments and agencies to acquaint them with its provisions for accelerated action and implementation. So the climate change, I'm pleading with you people to realize that the women suffer it most. Any way men can help us, please don't hesitate to do that. If you look at 2020, for budget, you will notice that the whole of Ministry of Environment has, I think, 200 million on climate change. And you will now look at it. What can the ministry achieve with 200 million votes? We're hoping that with the right support, with more funding, uh, with more international partnership, we can push that um, to 47%, according to the document that has just been launched today by the council. It was also time to appreciate the support of development partners, including the DNDC Partnership, 2050 Pathways Platform, and French Development Agency, AFD, while calling for collective action and solidarity towards achieving significant reduction in emissions that induce climate change and heat of the planet.